Let's take you back to one of our main stories for you this Friday morning. The case against a man who allegedly raped and murdered a six-year-old in Soweto has been postponed to the 1st of November. Uh, he made a brief appearance at the Protea Magistrates Court today. The suspect was arrested on Wednesday after a, a warrant for his arrest was issued. He's accused of luring this child before raping and ultimately murdering her on Monday, leaving the community outraged with many people demanding answers. SABC News reporter Calvin Jucha is part of our team who's been watching developments and he joins us now live. And Calvin, uh, there's been a great interest from the story, even from the police minister himself. Uh, good afternoon, uh, Ayanda Nyati, and to our SAPC viewers at home. Yes, indeed, the Minister uh, of Police, that would be Senzo Mkunu, uh, was present in court, and we had a media briefing a few uh, minutes ago where he addressed the media saying that he condemns uh, what happened. He says he wish uh, the suspect uh, would not get a bail. But now, uh, let me introduce the National Prosecuting Authority spokesperson here. In Gauteng, that would be Upindim Jonona. And thank you very much for your time. The case has been postponed to the 1st of November. The reaction from the NPA? Mm, well, we are ready to proceed. Um, the accused before court indicated that he wishes to bring an application to be released on bail. So um, he's charged with offenses that falls within the ambit of Schedule 6. And therefore, the onus is on him to convince the court that there are exceptional circumstances that exist exists that permits his release on bail and as a state we will be opposing such an application. Uh, you are satisfied with what transpired today inside court? Well, it was a brief uh, appearance. Uh, it, it's a first appearance. We had to put the charges formally before the accused. So he's facing four charges. One of rape, uh, rape of a minor, which is a Schedule 6 offence, uh, murder, kidnapping, as well as contravention of the Immigration Act. The police minister is saying uh, their job is done now. They have handed the, the case to the Justice Department. Uh, are you sure that you will crack the case as NPA now? Well, um, our uh, engagements with SAPS is not, does not come to an end. Yes. Actually, we continue, so we will be working closely with the investigating officer. Our role as the prosecution is to guide the investigations uh, so that we are able to prepare a formidable case that we can present in court. Thank you very much for it. Uh, well, I under uh, that was uh, Pindi Mjonundu, and uh, she speaks for the National uh, Prosecuting Authority. The 24-year-old male uh, by the name of Simbiao Pete Sara uh, appeared here in this very same court, a Protea uh, Magistrate Court. Uh, he speaks Portuguese, so he had an interpreter. When they asked him, he said he did. He does want to be released uh, on bail, uh, and that caused the howling and chaos and havoc inside court, especially from those uh, who were sitting on the benches, asking themselves why such a person would want uh, to be released on bail. So on the 1st of November, we'll be back in this very same court uh, to hear his uh, bail application. For now, he is remaining in custody, Ayanda. All right, Calvin Lewis, reporting live there from the Protea Magistrates Court. Thanks very much.